Hi everyone, it's Christina. I haven't been on in a long time and I've kind of been MIA. Um, I'm now coming towards the end of the semester and I have this week of classes and then next week I have finals. Uh, I have two in class, one online and I'm done with my other class, So, which was online. So um, I'm now this weekend is my Thanksgiving break. Um, I had off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. My son had off Thursday, Friday, and they have off tomorrow and Tuesday. Um, I live in an area in central Pennsylvania where, um, excuse my sniffling, hunting is very popular, but right now um, it is sleeting and raining and snowing outside, so uh, I, my classes are on a two-hour delay, which means I will have um, compacted half-hour classes, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going yet or not. I still have a lot of stuff to finish up. Um, anyway, so there's been a lot going on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have watched videos on the COPPA laws and everybody's in a tizzy and everybody's stressed out and watching videos and trying to figure out what's going on. Um, at first I was stressed out. Now I'm not. Um, I have watched some videos from um, Nick the Booksmith and... Uh, some other YouTubers. I know Gail Agostinelli talked about it a little bit. And um, there is uh, a lady on Instagram called Crafty Pantaloons that I con that I con you know converse with on Instagram. And um, she uh, gave me some helpful advice, which is to go directly to the FTC page and see what they have to say. Um, you could watch a million videos on YouTube and, um, not everybody's going to have the right information. So, um, I was stressed out, but I'm not as stressed out. So, um, I've already set my channel to not for kids. Um, I don't really have anything that's, um, excuse my sniffling, uh, that's not kid friendly, but at the same time, like my viewers or, adult women, like Gail said, you know, my viewers are all adult women and I don't have enough viewers to get an age range, but she had like, uh, 1% I think was like under 13. So I took care of that in my settings and did all that. And, um, so I figured I'd come on here and I'll try not to make this too chatty, but I just wanted to show you what I'm working on. Um, school this semester was a little hard and a lot more time consuming. Um, I go into my senior year next semester, um, and then I will graduate spring 2021 after my internship. So I'm doing four and a half years instead of four. I'm only taking four classes each semester, and then I had six credits from Penn State transfer. So um, I've been doing a lot of stuff with my advocating, too, in my free time, and my son started wrestling, and it's just, you know, life. So for a while there, I wasn't really feeling creative, and I... I was so stuck in my schoolwork and life, and I've finally been feeling creative again. So um, I dug out a couple things when I was uh, rearranging and cleaning up my craft stuff again. And um, I'm a little late for doing these, but I have these um, little mini golden books that I got. And I'm sorry for the glare. I have tried to work this out before I even started filming. Um, this one is a Christmas story. I did not have any Christmas um, fabric but I had this fabric that I found. Um, I believe I got it. Um, I did. I got it at Walmart for 97 cents and I got it with the little crosses. Um, I'm upside down, but uh, you get the picture. Um, just to have for craft projects, tags, you name it, for a book. So I took this little golden book apart and... Um, I did that. I'm not sure if I'm going to trim the bottom yet because I kind of like how that's frayed. Um, I used Fabri-Tac. Uh, the fabric is very thin though. So um, I feel like you can see um, the names. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So you can see where the Fabri-Tac, like, like how thin it is and where it came through. It's dry. Um, I don't know. I feel like it looks imperfect or something. I've watched other YouTubers do their 
uh, and you can see where it's kind of like where it dried up here um, where they do their covers and it looks flawless and perfect well my cover is not flawless and perfect but that's the beauty of junk journaling right so um, yeah so I did this I used um, chipboard I'm gonna actually use these pieces to make my own original junk journal Christmas journal um, nah. anyway you get the picture but aye, aye, aye. I'm telling you this is what I get for filming at 1230 at night um, so yeah I want to make that out of you know with Christmas paper and um, without any fabric so long story short I took this out um, on your regular I guess I should get an original one out to show you these are all Christmas, and this is just the bare minimum of the many little, little golden books that I have. Um, I probably shouldn't tell you all how many I have because you'll probably fall over. Um, let's just say I have enough to probably put out the whole set of Disney, like, to make... There's ten Disney um, little, little golden books like this um, with the old the classic stories that we're familiar with, like Snow White, Pinocchio, um, uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, Bambi, blah, 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 um, Dumbo. So anyway, there's a set of 10 and with the Disney stories. So that would be 10 of these in a set. So I have enough of the Disney to do probably, oh, probably like seven or eight sets if I really really wanted to but I'm not going to do that I think I'm going to release one or two sets here um, either over Christmas break at least release one set and then maybe in the summer release the next set but um, these are not easy to come by um, these are also considered collector's items if anybody remembers these when they came out with them um, back in the late 80s early 90s um it says 1952 there, but that's the copyright for the book. Um, so yeah, um, I did a lot of searching on eBay, Mercari, uh, and those two sites. And I also bartered and got people, you know, you can make an offer and I got people down on eBay and, um, I had a guy sell me an entire bag of them, 36 in the bag never been opened for a lot less than it was really worth. So, um, there were like three duplicates of each book in there. So I, um, I'm keeping that for safekeeping. Um, if I ever decide to sell them cause they're mint condition. So I'm holding on to those. Some are mint condition. Some are huge. Some are really old. Um, there are certain titles that are hard to find. And then there are ones that you can find anything of. Um, I also have these, which, um, came in some of the lots that I bought or the one lady added, oh geez, she, I bought like, there was probably 20, no, well, there was other little golden books, but then there was a bunch of these. She found more of these, like five more of these and she added them for free. So, um, this was like a labor of love over probably like a good two to three months, but it took a lot of surfing, a lot of tracking down. And, um, so anyway, these are, these came in the Lifesavers books and the cover's a little thinner. It doesn't have the hard cover like these do. Um, I did take one apart, um, as you can see, and it's, you know, it's not the hard, it's like the same kind of cardboard as packaging in your food packaging so and then there's the story still intact and I haven't figured out what I'm how I'm going to do this yet because I could even just take this apart and then add stuff to it and then sew it in as one signature not a frame sorry um so uh what was I going to show you yes 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 so that's what it looks like. It's just a little mini book and it has that. Now the thing of it is, is if you cut these, like when you pull this off, normally in the big golden books, you would cut this off, right? 
and then you would just cover this part and you would get rid of this part. You can't do the, that on these. They're too small. Um, these are two and three fourths by two and five eighths. So two and three fourths by two and five eighths. Um, so yeah, you really chopping this off is not worth it. So I did not chop that part off. Um, I kept it. And even though you can see it's still a little wobbly, um, I think it'll be all right. Cause there's a lady and she's the only one on, um, YouTube that has a video on these and I can't remember her name and I'm going to have to look it up and then I'm going to have to put the link at the bottom. Um, but anyway, so this is where I'm at with this. Um, I'm not real happy with how thin the fabric is with the glue underneath. So I'm thinking there might be a way to cover that up. Um, I figured the crop, since I didn't have any Christmas fabric, I'm so mad at myself when I went through a Marie Kondo period like three months ago. Um, I cleaned out my craft stuff and if it didn't make me happy or bring me joy or I had it for five years or more and I still haven't used it, I got rid of it. What little bit of Christmas fabrics I had, I got rid of because guess what? I've had them for like eight years and I've never used them. So now I'm kicking myself in the butt. But anyway. So this matched with this, and it had the crosses, and I figured it was so fitting. So um, I think that I am going to offer this for sale when I'm done, um, if anybody's interested. Um, I do have two other ones, but this one I'm definitely keeping for myself. This one's just a little darker, and I don't know if it's from sitting in the sun. Um, it's still in really good condition, so I don't know if I'm going to break it apart. But I think the next one that I... That's not the one I wanted to pull out. Um... The next one that I may make um, is this one. I have two of these, and um, this one's in better shape, so I will keep that one. But um, I may do this one, and this would be really cute um, for someone who has a baby that it will be their first Christmas. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is take it apart, do the fabric, and then I think I'm going to put... Um, Oh, what do you call them? Grommet. You know what I mean? Right here in the back. And then that way you can put like a hook on it or hang it on a tree. Um, and then do maybe a little, some kind of closure. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So, yeah. So, um, this is the story all intact. So, um, this page is just a tad longer than this one in the middle, obviously. So, um, I think I'm going to do one, two, three. I could probably do three, but we'll, I could definitely do three. Um, the, it's one inch right here. So, um, I'm hoping that maybe I can find something to put over this. Um, I mean, it's just... You can see where the glue was underneath. I mean, I had glue all over the whole entire area, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, and that's just the black and gold shining through behind here. It's not even really the glue. I'm sorry, I can't focus my phone. There you go. It's the, see the gold and black shining through underneath? So, I'm okay with that. And then I frayed the bottom and I frayed the top because I cut the top a little too short but hey you know I only made one other one of these with a different title that wasn't Christmas and um so yeah I mean that's actually the black and gold now that I look at it oh gosh all right so now that you've had some free entertainment um but yeah that's what I'm working on and I'm finally getting into the Christmas spirit the semester is almost over. I go into my senior st senior status next semester. And then I will be in classes next fall. And then I'll do my internship in the spring, hopefully at the DA's office here in town with the victim witness coordinator. And I will be done. And so I plan on, um, my goal was to over Christmas break, 
I usually have five weeks off. Well, the first two weeks are always hectic because it's right before Christmas. And then I usually think that I'm going to have like all this time after the holidays settle down. So like the first two to three weeks that I have off are usually crazy. And then the last two or three weeks, depending on how the holidays settle down. So um, I have time and then my son goes back to school. So during the week, I'll have all day at home because I work at night and on the weekends. Um, so I'll have daytime to work on this stuff. So, um, I plan on doing a lot more videos. I'm going to try to do one a day over Christmas break after the holidays settle down. Um, so hopefully one a day for 15 days. That's my goal, but we'll see. Um, and try to build my channel up. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And, um, we had a happy Thanksgiving with our family. We went to my mom's and had my stepdad's parents there and my son and I. So it wasn't a big affair or anything, but... Um, I was truly grateful to have that and have the day to just relax and visit with family and not do schoolwork and not have to get my son off to wrestling practice and not go to work and not worry about reading 30 pages in a chapter for four different classes. And yeah, so, um, and I also want to give a shout out to, um, pink paper peppermints and check her channel out. I will have to link it below. And, um, I'll touch a little bit more on that later. Um, I definitely want to show you the stamps I got from her, but I don't have them here right in front of me. So I'm not gonna, this is a pretty chatty video, but I just want to show you what's going on. And, um, so yeah, I have these two bags. Huh. These are my Christmas. And, um, the box that I have is like way over here in the corner of my craft area. So maybe I will pull it out tomorrow and show you. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm excited to be back making videos and I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody's not super stressed out over Christmas. I have like cuts from work. <sighs> Don't ask me what I did. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, nice to be back and, um, doing this again. Uh, sometimes life can sweep you up and you forget to make time to do the things that you like and you can get caught up. Oh, and also I discovered live PD on A and E and that's my new addiction. And I'm not big on TV or watching cable. Like I watch the same shows like reruns and stuff. Like everybody loves Raymond law and order law and order SUV or S SUV SVU. Um, I watch, um, Blue Bloods, like, I watch, all, I'm picky about the shows I watch, and I, you know, um, and I watch certain ones on Netflix, like Versailles, and Peaky Blinders, and, um, anyway, so I found, um, I watched 48 Hours on A&E, and I came home one night, and Live PD was on after work, and I was like, what's this, and I got sucked in, so now <laughs> it's my new, um, indulgence and so I've been kind of watching that um over the past couple of days when I'm haven't been at work and had two days off in a row and my son went to my dad's for a few days and to hang out with his pap and so I've been watching that a lot and um there's some good looking cops on there too as a single mom it's now my new guilty pleasure but anyway I hope everyone has a good night and I'm shaking the camera and um I can't wait to show you this when I'm done. Um, and hopefully I will figure out what I'm going to do with this one and how I'm going to do that. And then um, I'll show you some of the other little books that I have. Um, if you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear from you. I know that you're still there um, and that you're still looking forward to hearing from me. So um, with that, uh, have a good night. And I will try to do a video tomorrow. Um, as of right now, like I said, we have two hour delay and that compresses our schedule to classes for a half hour each. And oh, I really don't want to go for a half hour each. It's a pain in the butt, but anyway, I'll figure it out later. So have a good night. Take care.